It was what some people are calling a tipping point. 20 young children killed in their school by a gunman in Connecticut. The incident has spurred discussion on renewing the ban on assault weapons, which expired in 2004. The only thing that's going to prevent the massacre is to uh, enact gun laws that control those types of weapons and do not allow everybody to own those types of weapons. They're classified as semi-automatic guns with features similar to automatic military style weapons. But they're not to be confused with an automatic gun which shoots continuously when the trigger is held down. Automatics have been banned in the U.S. since 1934, with the exception of a permit. There's absolutely no purpose in owning a weapon like that except to kill people. Semi-automatic assault weapons still require pulling a trigger for each bullet. It's the features, though, that can be added on, like large capacity magazines, which can hold more bullets than a standard clip as many as 30 or 50 rounds. That, experts say, makes assault weapons more dangerous. If the shooter in Connecticut had not had a clip with so many bullets in it, he would never have been able to have killed so many children. Angie Lanier is a former district attorney, and she says banning assault weapons would not step on Second Amendment rights. The Second Amendment gives us the right to maintain a militia. We maintain a militia, and we have the right to bear arms, but it doesn't anywhere in the Second Amendment give the right to bear all types of arms. She says if a ban were reinstated, people would still be able to own guns like pistols, rifles, and shotguns. In Medford, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.